Every day on this channel, I cover everything Elon said on X in the last 24 hours. And here's how many times Elon posted about each subject today. I'll cover everything he said about each topic before moving on to the next one. And starting with SpaceX, Elon congratulates Jeff Bezos and the Blue Origin team as New Glenn returns to its Blue Origin. And here was their first stage rocket coming back to Earth and landing on a drone ship in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is the second time a company has launched something to orbit and had their first stage booster come back and land itself. First time, of course, being SpaceX. Elon says, congratulations. And Elon recently spoke on Joe Rogan about how if Earth sucks, then SpaceX will expand the map to Moon Base Alpha. Like you can think of space as being concentric shells of the surface of the Earth. It's the surface of the Earth, but but there's it's a series but much of, larger. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a series and of concentric it, yeah. shells. And think of an airstream trailer flying around up there. There's a lot of room for airstreams. Yeah, I mean, imagine yeah, if, if there were just a few thousand airstreams um, on, on, Earth. on Earth. Yeah, what are the odds that they'd hit each other? You know? They wouldn't be very crowded. No. Yeah. And then you got to go bigger. Yeah. Because you're dealing with far above Earth, hundreds of miles above Earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the goal of SpaceX is to get uh, rocket technology to the point where we can extend life beyond Earth and that we can establish a self-sustaining city on Mars, uh, a permanent base on the moon. That would be very cool. I mean, imagine if we had like a you know moon base alpha where there was like a permanent science base on the moon. And Elon reposted that today. And moving on to Tesla, a lot of testers have been getting FSD 14.1.7 and Dirty Tesla said that over 30 minutes and it was 100% smooth. That's what everybody wanted to hear because on 14.1.4, there was a lot of brake stabbing. So he clarified that there's no brake stabbing in the 30 minute drive with 14.1.7. And Elon reposted this. And Andre Karpathy recently reviewed Tesla FSD and said that it was a flawless drive. It was, of course, with FSD 13, but that was a big upgrade for Karpathy from his Hardware 3 vehicle. So Elon said today, wait until he downloads V14. And again, no more brake stabbing. Whole Mars catalog says that 14 is finally smooth. And he posted a 30-minute drive with the latest build. And Elon reposted it. And check this out. The first highway sign with superchargers. And Tesla says that there's more to come. This is at Arizona Mills. And Tesla Asia celebrates 5 million battery packs from Giga Shanghai rolling off the line. Elon says, great work. And Waymo is celebrating 2,500 robotaxis in the fleet with 1,000 in the San Francisco Bay Area. Elon replies to this saying, rookie numbers. And yesterday we saw that Elon posted that it's time to make the mind of a sentient son. To which Hans Nelson quoted that saying, this is the kind of thing that might require a terafab, which Elon happened to bring up that idea at the recent Tesla shareholder meeting. And so Elon responded to it today with a bullseye. Hans responded to him saying, you really are a glutton for punishment. 4680 battery cells was hard, but building terafabs could be almost an order of magnitude harder. It will require that you break the monopolies of both TSMC and ASML. Well, it seems like Elon is serious about it. And Siobhan Zillis is the mother of some of Elon's children. And she says, eldest son, as excitedly as I've ever heard him, said, Hey, hey, did you know my dad invented the car fart? And Elon responded to that with some flames. And Jesse Peltan says that China is the majority of electricity growth on Earth. Three quarters of new supply is solar. That's the case globally in China, in the US, basically everywhere. Elon quoted it saying, solar electricity will become by far the biggest source of power for civilization. And there's another clip from his Joe Rogan experience recently where he talked about the importance of establishing the right values in AGI. A big concern that everybody yeah. has is artificial general superintelligence achieving sentience yeah. and then someone having control over it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think anyone's ultimately going to have control over digital superintelligence, um, you know, any more than, say, uh, a chimp would have control over humans. Like, chimps don't have control over humans. There's nothing they could do. Um, but um, I do think that it matters how you build the AI and what kind of values you install in, in the AI. And um, my opinion on AI safety is the most important thing is that it be maximally truth-seeking, like that you don't force the AI to believe things that are false. And Elon reposted that today. I hope we don't become chimps to artificial general intelligence. It certainly feels like it's trending that direction as just next week, 15 second Grok Imagine videos and much improved sound coming. Tesla owner Silicon Valley says he no longer uses Google search, he just uses Grok, and Elon reposted this. Tesla owner Silicon Valley also says that Grok is dominating every leaderboard. 
to number one on all of these benchmarks. Grok is cooking. Elon says it's a start. Zero Hedge posts an article titled that Elon Musk is building the backbone of America's high-tech 2030s economy, and the numbers prove it. And Elon reposted it. He says Grok is improving extremely fast. Update your Grok app daily. Ample Market says the number of app updates is an interesting proxy for the speed of progress in AI chatbots, as Grok has gotten 13 updates in the last two weeks compared to just two or three for other chatbots. Elon reposted this as well. And Elon says that when Grokopedia is good enough and there is a long way to go, we will change the name to Encyclopedia Galactica. It will be an open source distillation of all knowledge, including audio, images, and video. Join XAI to help build the sci-fi version of the Library of Alexandria. S.E. Robinson replied saying, do Asimov proud and keep it named Encyclopedia Galactica. And Elon said, Adams and Asimov are both inspirations of mine. Such awesome humans. And he replied to himself saying, copies will be etched in stone and sent to the moon, Mars, and beyond. This time, it will not be lost. The new name comes from Isaac Asimov's foundation, where the Encyclopedia Galactica is like the entire internet and your smartest teachers rolled into one, but for an entire galaxy. And Elon quoted Mario with the book emoji. And he then posted this photo that reads, Here's what the Encyclopedia Galactica has to say about alcohol. It says that alcohol is a colorless, volatile liquid formed by the fermentation of sugars and also notes its intoxicating effect on certain carbon-based life forms. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy also mentions alcohol. It says that the best drinker in existence is the pan-galactic gargle blaster. It says that the effect of a pan-galactic gargle blaster is like having your brain smashed out by a slice of lemon wrapped around a large gold brick. And then he replied to that saying, thanks, at Antimatter15. And John suggested that instead of changing it to Encyclopedia Galactica, they just change the name of the Grokopedia to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Elon said, hmm, maybe we should. And Elon spoke recently on the All In podcast about how Grok is the best assistant to fight propaganda. If you just press the Grok icon on any X post, and we'll analyze analyze it for you, um, and and research it as much as you want. So you can you can basically have uh, just by by tapping the Grok icon, you can um, assess whether that that post is the truth, the whole truth, or nothing but the truth, or whether there's something supplemental you need to be explained. So I think it I think it's actually we made a lot of progress towards uh, yeah um, freedom of, of of speech and people being able to tell whether something is false or not false propaganda. The recent update to Grok is actually, I think, very good um, at piercing through propaganda. Um, and then we, we, we use that latest version of Grok to create Grokopedia. It, it's, it's not just, I think, more um, neutral um, that, than, and, and more accurate than, than Wikipedia, but it actually has a lot more information than a Wikipedia page. And Elon reposted that today. And quoting the potential name change, Hans Nelson says, XAI engineer says, what's the hardest, most controversial, least monetizable, and most impactful problem that we could possibly solve with AI right now? Elon disappears into deep thought for 15 minutes straight. Elon emerging from trance-like concentration says, we must fix Wikipedia. The engineer says, fuck, this will make alpha fold look like child's play. So this is Elon's most ambitious and underrated project by far. And Elon has a laugh at that one. And Elon says that the first compelling Grok Imagine 30 minute show is probably three months away. And I think this little symbol means roughly. And CNBC reports that Musk's XAI is raising $15 billion in a latest funding round. But Elon quickly says false. And you guys can upload PDFs or code or CSVs or full docs to Grok for instant analysis. You can do multiple files at once. Grok will search, summarize, and explain in seconds. And Elon reposted this. And over on X, you can now do audio and video calls with X chat. Elon Musk says you should try it. We just rolled out an entire new communication stack with encrypted messages, audio and video calls, and file transfer. And for the second day in a row, Elon says that X money is coming out soon. Join us if you want to build cool products because X will be the everything app. And there's an X chat feature where you can filter low quality messages. So you just swipe, filter low quality messages if you don't want any brokies messaging you. And again, you can send files via the new encrypted X chat. Send something to David Sachs. And Elon Musk was speaking about X chat on the recent Joe Rogan interview. So, um, so there's just some things that are 
less insecure than others. You know, on, on X, we, we just rebuilt the entire messaging stack um, into X, what's called XChat. Yeah, so, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so it's it's using uh, sort of peer to peer, uh, sort of kind of a peer to peer based uh, uh, encryption system. So, so it's kind of similar to Bitcoin. Um, so it's uh, it's it's I think very good encryption. We're gonna and we're, you know we're testing it thoroughly. We're not there's there's no hooks in the X system for advertising. So if you look look at something like WhatsApp or really any of the others, they've got they've got hooks in there for advertising. When you uh, say hooks, what do you mean by that? Uh, exactly. What do you mean by a hook for advertising? Um, the so in like WhatsApp um, uh, knows enough about what you're texting to show you, to show you, to know what ads to show you. Oh. But then like that that's a massive right. security vulnerability. And Elon reposted that today. And someone was complaining about the new X chat, saying that the links are just there's no preview, so it looks kind of sketchy. You have to click on the link to actually view it. So Elon says this is not Nikita's fault. It happened due to transitioning users to the new encrypted X chat system. And then Deborah was complaining that she no longer has access to her X web account. Elon replied saying, digging into this. And he said, please reply to this post if you are not receiving X notifications or if the notifications are delayed more than a few minutes. And 15,000 people replied. And X Freeze says you can make Grok your go-to AI assistant and get instant responses with just your voice on iOS. And Elon reposted this. And while we're talking about X, we can talk about the legacy media. Mike Ben says that USA ID is BBC Media Action's single biggest donor, other than the British government itself. Tim Burchett says USA ID was funding the BBC. You can see they were the second biggest donor from 2023 to 2024. And Elon reposted this. And Byron Donald says that I arrived in the Sunshine State at 17 years old on a Greyhound bus with a trunk full of clothes and a dream. Now is the time to keep the best state in the country as the best state in the country. Tonight, I am proud to announce my candidacy to be the next governor of Florida. He's reporting that on Fox News. And Elon says, congrats, Byron. You certainly have my full support. And Rubio responds to the EU saying that you don't get to determine how the U.S. defends its national security. Ryan says the best secretary of state ever. And Elon agrees. And speaking of the EU, this, what we're about to see, is how they elect the president of the EU commission. There's one name on the ballot, no other candidates included. That's not what most of us consider democratic. The EU Parliament is gossamer cloak of supposed democracy on a bureaucratic behemoth. David Deutsch quoted that saying, Regardless of whether the experts think there's a democratic deficit in the EU, its institutions are very far from meeting Popper's criterion for democracy. And of course, yesterday Elon said that the leader of the EU should be elected by the people of the EU, not appointed by a committee. And today in Bristol, seven men charged with more than 40 offenses as police investigate child sexual exploitation. And Elon reposted that. Tommy Robinson commented on it saying the invaders are raping British children as soon as they get off the dinghy. All paid for by the British taxpayer. Let that f***ing sink in. Elon replied with two exclamation marks. David Holtz posts that whites should be enslaved and raped to death forever. What a lovely human being. And Elon reposted that. And Sarah Sheriff is a victim and her neighbors feared being called racist if they reported abuse. Liz said, how many innocent lives have been destroyed because people fear being called racist? Britain needs a reset of its moral compass. Elon said, terrible. And over in Germany, the banks freeze AFD accounts in escalating crackdown on dissent. And they're not even giving an explanation. They're citing banking secrecy. AFD leaders are calling it political debanking, a financial weapon to punish opposition to illegal immigration and defense of traditional values. When democracy means freezing your opponent's bank accounts, maybe it's not democracy anymore. The source is Euro News. Elon replied with two exclamation marks. And over in Japan, their Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry has proposed new policy guidelines to boost the global reach of anime, games, manga, film, and music while protecting creators' freedom. The plan emphasizes large-scale support, direct funding, and a firm commitment to respecting the creative vision of artists. Japan wants zero Western interference in creative works, and Elon says, good. And don't forget Elon wielding this sword back in the day during an interview. Elon says, that's my Heinlein sword. He says, clearly, I have not studied the blade. Tesla owner Silicon Valley asks, you still have it? And Elon said, yeah. And Poincaré said, it is through logic that we prove, but through intuition that we discover. 
It is through logic that we prove, but through intuition that we discover. Paul Graham said one of the most common flaws of math textbooks is that they present only the logic without the intuition. They give you the later, cleaned up version of the idea which hides the way it was discovered. Elon says true. And yesterday we saw Elon encouraging people to move to Austin, Texas. There's so many world-class people that are moving to Austin. Jason Calacanis said, agreed, awesome people, immaculate vibes, insightful podcasters, hilarious comedians, fantastic founders, talented chefs. Austin has it all. And Elon reposted it. Even Michael Dell agrees. Joe Lonsdale says, I'm flying home to Austin, Texas, the American Renaissance city. There's great food and music and lots of my favorite people live in town. Many are building stadiums, clubs, or other fun places. Elon reposted that too. Tesla board member Joe Gebbia said, I moved to Austin, Texas five years ago and found Boomtown Energy with bright people. It's only gotten better since I'm long on Austin. Jack Dorsey quoted Elon saying, the most interesting outcome is the most likely. And Elon likes that one. And he posted Frodo saying, what are we holding on to, Sam? And Sam says, that there's some good in this world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. Now, my friends, it is time for our daily Grok Imagine slideshow of all the creations that Elon reposted today. So that is everything that Elon said today. The Blue Origin thing is pretty insane for that to be the second company only to ever accomplish that task. I'll try to do a super cut of the entire two hour live stream of the whole rocket launch. I'll try to get that on my channel for you guys tonight. We're seeing FSD 14.1.7 starting to roll out to more people. I saw Omar say that there's still some hesitancy, but a lot of other people are saying that it's smooth. I'm excited to get that for myself. Elon seems pretty serious about a TerraFab, having talked about it multiple times now. And he made a good analogy saying that AGI or that humans likely might not be in control of AGI or that no one person will be in control of AGI, similar to how no chimps are in control of all humans and we were an emerging intelligence over chimps. That one gets you thinking. Encyclopedia Galactica, a potential name change for Gracopedia. And we also saw some XChat upgrades. Now, if you guys want early access to these daily videos or you just want to support the channel, the best way to support is to join this channel as a member and I'll see you guys tomorrow.